In today's video, you'll learn how to decorate this cute and simple birthday cake featuring some buttercream borders and of course, sprinkles. If you're new here and want to learn more about cake decorating, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, tips, and reviews. So let's get into it. Start by making your favorite cake of choice from box mix or scratch, and be sure to follow the baking directions as indicated for your batter. Allow your cakes to cool outside of the pan. Your cake should be room temperature for the next step. We'll want to remove any cake domes. You can use a cake leveler or serrated bread knife to do this. Our next step is to ice our cake. I like to use the upside down method of icing a cake to get nice sharp cake edges. It's really easy to do and I'll show you how in this video. A link to this video is in the description below. After the cake is set up in the refrigerator, I use a piece of parchment paper to further smooth the top of the cake. There are a few buttercream piping techniques that we'll use on this cake, and we'll need a few supplies to create these. These items are a disposable piping bag, a number 21 Wilton tip, a pair of scissors, and buttercream icing. To prepare our decorating bag, we'll drop the number 21 tip into the bag. Note the location of the opening on the side of the tip. Score the bag slightly above these openings and cut the bag straight across our score mark. Next, we'll fold the bag down halfway and spoon the buttercream into the bag. I share my recipe for easy buttercream icing in this video. Again, the link is in the description below. Folding the bag back up, you see that we've kept the top of the bag nice and clean and clear of icing. From here, we flatten and gather our piping bag, keeping an eye out for large air bubbles in the process. The first buttercream technique we'll practice is the reverse shell. Holding the bag at a 45 degree angle to the surface with the top of the bag facing me, I squeeze and form a backward question mark. I follow the same steps for the next reverse shell. Just reverse the direction in which I'm piping. Our second technique is the shell. We hold our bag at the same angle with the same hand position, but this technique maintains a straight line. Our third technique is the star. This time we hold our tip and bag completely vertical, touching the surface. Squeeze while keeping the tip down. We stop completely and then lift up. Now let's look at all of these techniques from a different angle. If you've learned something new so far, go ahead and hit the like button now. After we've practiced on parchment paper, now's the time to add the top and bottom borders to our cake.
Next, we are going to use some sprinkles and a cookie cutter to customize our cake. I like to place my sprinkles into a decorating bag to have better control over them during the next step. Here I have a metal cookie cutter of the number one. You may use a plastic or metal cutter in any number, letter, or shape you choose. I position the cutter in the center of my cake and press down slightly. This will help to contain our sprinkles. Next, we fill our cutter with sprinkles and use a small metal spatula to press the sprinkles into the icing. Finally, we lift our cutter, leaving our sprinkle number one. At this point, you can leave it as is, but to embellish the top a bit more, I'm going to pipe a simple star border around the number one. And here is our finished cake. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button below. And if you want to learn more about cake decorating, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are the first to view, like, share, and comment when I upload new cake decorating tutorials, tips, and product reviews. As always, thanks for watching.